what's up guys and welcome back in this video we are going to look at flutterflow ai tools this is a new feature released by flutterflow and they have upgraded the way we do page generation and also um component generation now i also have a functionality for you to be able to auto complete a page like you may want have an idea to design a page and auto complete the design and also link it with your data i think that is amazing the next thing is sketch to component you can now actually sketch a design or probably upload an image and then have that converted to a component without wasting any much time if you haven't already please be sure to check out the channel um leave a like leave a subscribe it's really helping me grow and thank you very much let's get into it so over here i have this flutterflow project this is my project and i'm here right here i'm going to be testing the ai tools you can access the ai tool by using uh from this top bar right so you see flutterflow ai tools you have new page creation we have new component creation sketch to component and page autocomplete now there's a way all of this works we are going to start we've had um this thing page generation and component generation before but this time flutterflow is saying that they have improved the way the generation is being done so for my demonstration i have this api endpoint that calls crypto prices so you can just query this endpoint like if you do a simple get it's going to get all the top I think top 100 crypto assets and their various prices at that very that very time. I'm going to make use of that endpoint to actually test how we can build a page to display those crypto assets. This is another one too that we have here. I'm actually going to do that. And if you check here, I also have like a, this thing, what we call it, a data type that actually ties that crypto response, that response to that API to a specific data type. So I hope that is going to be a good place for us to start so first off let me start with page generation i want to generate a page that display a list of crypto assets so i'll just type here new page creation and i'll say a page that displays a list of crypto sets and their details now i don't know what is going to generate but let me just click on the generate and let's see what is going to provide all right now so the completion the generation is complete and i can click on preview page if i see here well i don't know what happens but look at this this is messed up right it's very it doesn't even look like something so i don't know what the generation was trying to do so this is crappy i'm going to give it a one star if i thought i can read one star review but anyways let me try regenerating again so i'm going to say i click here on regenerate and let's see what is going to provide this time now the generation is complete let's preview the page again now this looks more like it this is what we're hoping to achieve right and i think this is very, very beautiful so we have market cap whatever thing this is very, very beautiful so i can insert this page and actually yeah so i'm going to say um crypto sets right let me just save it as that and this is going to be my page now i think that is i'll give it a four star yeah this is a very good page it's a very good generation i see like all the other list of items are displayed here now i can just simply query that api endpoint and then just maybe do like a infinite scroll list down here then up here i just present the general market cap of the crypto market let me see how it looks like for web yeah it's not bad it's very very good this is a very good interface right very simple we have the name of the assets the the yeah, this thing these images i don't even know what they are but yeah it is it is very, very interesting what what these guys have done here now okay i want to i think this is it for page generation right we can actually tie this data together but i'm not going to go into that details because as you've seen our endpoint returns enough data for us to use this coin gap um, endpoint it return enough data for us to use and actually query that api endpoint you see we have the symbol btc the name bitcoin the explorer that you can see like all the prices and whatnot you can actually do all of that but i'm not going to tie the data together this space generation that's a really good improvement and one thing to see here i would like to point out is the widget tree is very very simple right there's not a lot of things happening the widget tree is very 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 simple so oh goodness this is very very interesting I see myself using this page generation now like before it was very very crappy and right now it's much more interesting and it does a very good job at generating reasonable pages so i see myself using this in real time okay the next thing let's head over to component generation right so what component do you want to generate or just want to generate a component that is going to display the detail about a crypto asset let's take for example if we click on this bitcoin for example it should display details about it now i have two endpoints here there is the one that just pulls this data coin coin gap api group this one that just pulled like for all the assets i think top 100 assets then i have this one for coin gecko that can actually pull 
for a particular cryptocurrency against the usd right so this is like an endpoint that i can use to actually build that user interface i'm just showing you guys like this is this this has much more details as compared to the other one that like we have circulating supply market cap the high the previous high, the previous low for the past 24 hours the previous high of the asset in the past 24 hours so that's enough details that we can use to build detail about a particular uh, crypto asset so let's use this component generation to see if we can generate like a reasonable component that we can use to display our assets in a pop-up so i'm going to go to new component creation and i'll say a component that shows complete market details of a crypto asset i think that's enough that's a good enough prompt i can further like develop it further but i think yeah let it let's see what it's going to do with uh, this simple prompt like that all right the component generation is complete let me preview the components here and let's see mm, it's not bad well it's 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 not bad it is good yeah we have the low we have the high like circulating supply damn okay this is very, very interesting i'll give this a four star too right i'll give this a four star rating and i'm going to also accept these um components so i'm going to say accept component and i'll say asset details let me just name it like that like it's a crypto asset details so far so so good i think this is this is doing a very great job now look at how it's showing on mobile let me see yeah it's it's looking good like look at this we've been able to generate that page and generate this component by just prompting ai like complete like everything so now on this page if we say we click here we can just do like a bottom sheet that shows these asset details and this is amazing this is very very amazing very very amazing anyways the next component we have is sketch to components okay we can actually sketch to components let me look for an inspiration online and then we'll try to sketch it and see how the ai reacts to it so for this new comp uh, sketch to component you go are going to click on it now what this allows you is for you to draw a sketch you can either upload an image like a sample image i have from somewhere or you can actually sketch something in real time so i'm going to try to draw something i don't even know what i want to draw but i'm just going to try drawing something so let's say we have a card right we have a card then we have a button here i just hope this thing is working well anyways it doesn't look like it's going then we have uh, some words here we have another word here then we have something here on the side and then we have some data here i don't even know what how is going to translate this thing into this is just for the illustration part and then i'm also going to try uploading an image and see what it does so i'm going to save okay it doesn't allow me to describe anything but anyways let's go generate component let me see how it's going to use this just this illustration and actually come out with something this will be amazing okay component generations generated successfully that was fast let's take a look at it preview components uh it's not bad it understood the button it understood the input field subtitle then this should be like an action it's it's not that bad right i mean i'm going to give it to them it's it's not it's not bad this is very, very impressive uh, let's give it a three star just for feedback reasons well it's not what i was thinking in my head so there's no way for me to actually define that I think one improvement they can do here is probably like after the illustration there should be a way to actually add like a prompt right so that someone can actually describe what they want to generate and then i think the model is going to perform much more better so uh, I, I don't i don't i don't see any use for this i'm going to cancel it i don't want to use this now let's try generating using an image all right so now i'm going to try again this uh, sketch to component but this time using an image so i'm going to click here so upload an image then it's prompting me to upload an image i'll actually select an image i have here if you can see this is the image that i want to use it's just something very very simple it's still like this this card some sort of a card that displays like crypto assets so that's the same thing that i want to use here so this is the image that i'm about to upload this is the image that i want to upload and see what this thing is going to uh, generate all right the image has been uploaded by the way i like this preview that they have here it is very very good and again if they can add something like a prompt so that users can modify or explain like what is happening here i think that's going to give much more um, leverage so let's click on generating to generate the components and i think this is also going to be very very fast just like the other component generation i'm just hoping let's see how it goes all right so component generated successfully let's preview and see if it matches preview 
uh yeah i think it does the, by the way this is for like light mode so let me go to dark mode uh it did it did it did not bad yeah right this is actually what we want so we can maybe play with the fonts or whatnot and then the size of the text or whatnot this is the image and this is what it has generated i think this is very very impressive this is very very impressive this is the image that we have here and then this is the generate uh, generation that we have so this is not very bad so i can accept something like this and i'll say site um site asset details i don't know how to name things let's just do that create components now over to the and give it a three star anyways over to the final thing now the next thing we have to test out is this page autocomplete the page autocomplete now allows you to generate um, this thing a full page based on the data that you have on that page so what i'm going to do here flutterflow advises that when you want to do this thing your page should have a, um, a reasonable name and this thing a description so i'm going to name my page let's say crypto assets dashboard then i'm going to set a description like just for the page right a dashboard that shows details or crypto assets I don't know if I'm supposed to call the API endpoints or not, but let's see what page generation does. So I'm going to click here. Let me do this and say crypto dashboard. Let's go to page autocomplete. A dashboard that shows details about all crypto assets. Let me see autocomplete page. Moment of truth. Let's see autocomplete and wait for it to perform its magic. I think this is going to be generating the page in real time from top to bottom, as you can see. Let's see if it goes okay that is taking long where it's supposed to okay okay this is not very, very bad this is not very, very bad i like the way it looks so you can see like the dashboard and it's even showing transactions here let me see apply all suggestions let me see accept accept let's see what's coming up yeah portfolio is there any actions let me see if there's any action yeah it has generated it's it's not it's not it's not bad but it's not very impressive again it is not very yeah let me see okay cool yeah i like what it has done it's looking impressive but let's see if i actually try now to call that api endpoint right on this thing on that page let me see if it's going to make use of that data so we have this page here let me add a column inside and then call or maybe wrap this column in a container wrap widget in a container and i think you can do something like this delete then on this container let me call this endpoint add query api call this coin gap api group get crypto prizes is that it yeah i think so confirm now let me see on this container now i can actually on auto completion on this container i think yeah it does brother shows let me see auto complete it's highlighting this container so let me see it does what that shows details about all crypto assets so what i'm hoping for this to achieve is i want to see if it's going to make use of the api endpoint that i have called on that container to build the page below right if it actually makes use of that data then that's super amazing let's see out so we got an error error performing autocomplete i'm going to do again let me spell oh i spell details with an error i think details so let's do autocomplete page and see what is going to happen i think this is just available for all the page we've not had uh, this this other tool that's going to be like that magic cursor magic cursor is what actually does this thing it was announced in ffdc so um i don't think this should be able to like actually do what i am expecting it to but i just want to see again we are exploring to see what is possible so let's see um, the output that we are going to get from this generation okay we still have the error now let me come here outside of the page and do the generation now, i think this generation is complete i'm going to click on accept tab i think it's actually making use of that data right it is making use of it this is cool so it's actually making use of the data that we, we call in our api endpoint so let me see here we have our um api call here then it is getting text combination of dollar the data the total portfolio value i don't know if there's anything like that if they say just some part like that data dot bitcoin or price or i don't know if there's something like this or the thing is just making it up so let me actually check our api call just so we are setting that there is something like that so data dot oh there's nothing like that 
right so it's supposed to be data then the elements so this is a list of something i thought the fact that i've even casted this as a data type right as a data type is even going to make it easier for them but this thing is just making up it is just making up data it's just making up values right but it's interesting to know like okay it is trying to actually use um values from that api call it is very interesting to know that it's actually trying to do that but overall i think this is very impressive but this page is not it's not useful to us because this data is wrong now we've been able to generate this thing we've been able to generate this component this one is very very impressive to me honestly i do not think uh, this thing is going to do that and then we have this other page that says crypto assets this page that we generated super super interesting anyways i think that's just basically briefly what uh, this ai tools can do so far right if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like um be sure to subscribe to the channel leave a comment on what your thoughts are and then as soon as they release the other one i'm also going to try to take